Hey Stern players, today we're going to talk about being the keys. Um, unless your worship leader wants you specifically, specifically to play like a solo or something very stringy sounding, your job is to blend in to the rhythm section. The rhythm section is the bass, which we've already done, the keyboard, the guitar, lead guitar, uh, and drums. And a lot of worship teams have an actual keyboard instead of a piano and they can use what's called, they call the pad setting, which creates kind of a wash of sound over the song and accompanies, um, but adds some, you know, chordal sounds to it. And so we're going to be doing that pad sound with double stops to sustain double stops today. Um, that's kind of what I use to emulate the pad sound. Uh, we're going to use Revelation Song by Jenny Lee Riddle to practice this. It's got four chords that repeat for the verses. I wrote them down here and I also put down the notes in each chord. So the first chord is a D major chord and it's D, skip the E, go to F sharp, skip the G, and then go to A. So D, F sharp, A. Next chord is A minor 7. Uh, we haven't done one of these before, but the notes are A, C, E. And then to add the seventh of the chord um, is just the step below the, the root or the tonic, which is A. So we're going to add that G, A, C, E, G. Next chord is C, skip the D, go to E, skip the F, go to G. And then the last chord is G, skip the A, go to B, skip the C, go to D. So those are the notes we're working with. So your job is to pick two of those notes and play them simultaneously as a double stop. And the trick that um, is to make it smooth sounding. You don't want to jump around. Um, so hopefully you'll be able to just change one, one finger um, between each chord. So here's an example. Um, so the first chord is D, and you might want to rewind that and write those chords down just to make it easier for you. So I'm going to play an A and an open D. Next chord is A. I'm just going to bar across to A and E. Next chord is C. I'm going to pick the E and the G. And then last chord is G, so we'll stop. I might have to watch your strings for all just to make sure your bow is on both strings. Um, but that just takes some practice. I'm gonna try I'm gonna try that um, verse with the ones I just did. So of sound. Let's try it in a, like a, the next string up, a little bit of an upper register. So the first chord is D. I'm going to do open A and D. Then we have an A minor 7. Um, I can do E and A, so just putting my first finger down. And then I'm going to do C. just going to keep the E but add the C on top. And then G. I've got to do fourth finger on D, first finger on A. So practice that, find good smooth transitions between the notes, and you will be <laughs> masquerading as the keyboard. So hope that helps. God bless.